Hi, my name is Dylan Wynn, and this is going to be my discussion post for the Sir Richard's videos. Uh, the very first question asked for about a breakdown of smokers in Arkansas and compared to the U.S. Uh, I'm using the American Health Foundations or Health Rankings for this, uh, and they use the CDC uh, behavioral uh, Behavioral Factor Risk Surveillance System 2021, and they break down race and ethnicity as, uh, in Arkansas at least, uh, American Indian slash Alaskan Native, uh, of those, about 39.4% of Arkansans are smokers compared to the U.S., which is about 27.2%. For Black Arkansans, it's about 22.8% compared to 15.7% in the U.S. For White Arkansans, it's about 21% point, 21% compared to about 14% in the U.S., uh, for educational breakdown, uh, those with less than a high school diploma, about forty in Arkansas, about forty-two percent compared to about twenty-five percent in the United States. Um, for age range, about for those who are eighteen to forty-four year olds, uh, for Arkansans, about twenty-one percent are smokers compared to about fourteen percent in the United States. Uh, for those who are older, from twenty for um, 45 to 64, uh, that's about 27% are smokers compared to about 16%. Uh, a gender breakdown for this would be about for females, about 20% of female Arkansas uh, citizens are smokers compared to about the about 12%, I believe, in the United States. And then for Arkansans and males, it was about 21% compared to about 15% in the United States. Uh, moving on to question two, based on what you've learned in class, comment on what you believe from question one. Based on this information, it kind of makes sense. In general, we have information or at least study or at least a lot of background information on how having lower education and having lower income would increase your likelihood of being a smoker. That's just general knowledge now that we have uh, from years of study. Uh, for question three, um, I believe that really like a presence of, there is a large presence of distrust with and authority figures within the South. It's just a general thing to happen here in the South. Uh, it's just hard for us to really trust health educators or, or basically researchers in the south or hospitals in the south because we just have developed a feeling of distrust in hospital systems and things like that uh especially in arkansas another thing in arkansas would be like we have really large poverty rates the poverty rate in arkansas is anomalously large i believe i think we rank like fourth in poverty lowest in poverty uh and poverty leads to increasing in smoking. Smoking is seen as a de-stressor for a lot of people. Poverty is a very large stressor for people and uh, it is a quick way to relieve stress for some people. And I can see why people would want to smoke. Uh, for question four, uh, I believe this is, uh, this is more of a sufficient cause of of lung cancer uh, I also believe this is a, like a combination D there is smokers everywhere combination D of causes I'm sorry combination D yeah uh, yeah combination D uh, smokers are everywhere people smoke all the time uh, this doesn't mean smoking one cigarette uh, will lead to having cancer, but it just means smoking does increase your likelihood of having cancer. Uh, there are other factors included in uh, having cancer. Uh, cigarette smoking is not the definite cause of cancer, but it does increase the likelihood of cancer. So it is a combination D. Uh, for question five, uh, are there any other examples of this? I would say alcohol use. Alcohol, we have thousands and thousands of studies showing how increased or excessive use of alcohol uh, 
can lead to liver cancer or damaging your body in multiple ways or is just not good for your health. Um, but people still drink alcohol day to day. People still use alcohol as a de-stressor or people use alcohol as abusive. Sorry. Uh, but I feel like that alcohol use finds or follows a really similar pathway to cigarette smoking and lung cancer. It's just we see it very commonly between those two and alcohol and smoking. Uh, thank you.